folks, welcome again for another edition for TiffinCast. Today we are joined by Angela Poynton, who is a marketing and business consultant for photographers. Uh, I've known Angela now for quite some time. She's written for Tiffin Box, and so she's no stranger to Tiffin Box, really. But I've wanted to talk to her about a few things, uh, especially as I am uh, reforming my own business, my own photography business. I've had lots of chats with Angela and I've always, always enjoyed her, her, uh, um, her advice, her experience level is immense. Um, and in the most recently, uh, she's been writing for PPA Magazine as well. I know it's a magazine that mo a lot of you have probably subscribed to and probably should subscribe to. It's amazing, I think, um, to get it every month and look at all the amazing articles. And Angela, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Seishu. It's my pleasure. Uh, welcome. Um, let me start off now. I know your time is very short, so I want to start off by asking you, you're working on a new book, and yeah. it's called Worth More. And, and when, you, when you and I talked before we started recording this show, you'd said it's all about photographers finding clients uh, who value their work. Correct? Yes. Yes, so, that's correct. And... And I think there's a process involved in that, and I'm, I'm sure that's, that's something that a lot of photographers, including myself, are struggling with. Um, what would you say, without giving the entire book away, of course, <laughs> what would you say is the first step in a photographer's life in terms of connecting with a, with a client? How would, the, how would a photographer essentially qualify a client or the or, or connect with the client and see if they are a good fit. Yeah. So I think for any business, whether it be photography or a coffee shop, it could be anything. Um, whenever launching a business, you want to think about who your ideal customer is. And even if, you know, you're starting your business on day one and you're thinking, well, any customer with a dollar in their pocket would be nice. <laughs> Um, really, in order to do your business the best um, you possibly can as the owner and give it the best potential it possibly can have as the owner, is to think about, well, let's pretend everybody was coming to us with a dollar in their pocket, um, or in the sake of photography, lots of dollars in our pocket. Who would I want to work with? If everybody's demanding my time, who would make me really happy? What types of things do I really enjoy shooting? What types of customers are most likely to value my work? And look, the same thought process goes for photographers like yourself who are thinking about shifting gears. Whether you're, you know, you've shot weddings and you're starting a family and you need your weekends back and you have to do portraits. Or, you know, you've shot portraits and you want to do the same work for commercial clients as you did for consumers. No matter what's occurring in your business, you always want to think about your ideal client. Why? Because your marketing, your branding, your pricing, the way you package your services, the experience that you put people through as part of your organization, all has to align with that ideal client. And if you don't know who they are, it makes it very difficult to do that. And knowing who they are doesn't need to be, you know, Mary down the street. She hired me before. I had a great time, and so did she. She's my ideal client. It can be someone fictitious if you're just starting out or going in a new direction you haven't served yet. You can describe your dream client and align your business to that type of person, even if they haven't paid you anything yet. Now, that's interesting. Uh, so you're saying make up a client and essentially define that client for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, you. And that's a lot of what the book talks about in the beginning. I, there's an awful lot going around right now, and I, I know everybody watching this can empathize and, and hopefully nod their heads to. There's an awful lot going on right now with photographers down the street who are charging you know, $99 for a shoot and giving away all the images. Um, and how do I compete with that? Well, pricing is just like such a small part of the business, yet we have a tendency 
and myself as I'm launching a photography business have had these thoughts myself where we're like, yeah, I compete with that and I got to compete with that. And what the book talks about is, no, you really don't. Um, you need to find a way, you know, unless you want to be the $98 photographer, right. you need to find a way to, to figure out who your client is, who is going to hire you to do the type of work that you want to do. And then how does everything align under that? And what you'll find is who you thought your competition was, isn't your competition. Right. Um, because customers, you know, let's assume that you want to uh, make a thousand dollars per shoot. I'm just making this up. The customers who are going to hire you for that type of work are not the customers who are going to hire the $99 photographer. They're just not. So figuring out that first is a critical step, no matter how your business is changing, moving or starting. Uh, that's a great point. Um, and, and to add to that, I think the messaging has to be clear as well. You know, I think that's where I'm sort of spinning my wheels a little bit and I'm, I'm, I'll be happy to be honest and, and very, very transparent to my audience here as well is that I am in the process of moving to a, a, a completely different set of clients in a way almost because I feel like you're right. I mean, I'm trying to find those ideal clients, but those ideal clients have to be approached in a certain way. They have to be messaged in a certain way. They have to be, sought after in a certain way and and they when they see your messaging in a way that resonates with them they're going to obviously say well this is our photographer you know right um i had a client just two days ago call me and said um i well i was i had a, a gift voucher out there who had which i had donated and she came back and said i have a gift voucher and so i sat sat her down and i explained to her exactly what my approach was which um to put it very simply it, it's it's more uh, candid, more heart-centric, you know, more really making them feel comfortable first and that kind of thing. And she was like, yes, that's exactly what we're looking for. And I was like, great, you know, we're going to have a great time. You know, right. it's simple as that. You know, and, and she was so excited. And again, this morning, another client came through the, the gift voucher uh, that, I had, that I donated to another charity. And she she had said the same thing. She said, we're not looking for this posed sort of looking at the camera type pictures. We're looking for pictures of just us hanging out. I was like, wow, this, this does work, yeah. you know? So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to reading your book, um, Worth More. comes out in two weeks. June 18th is the date, right? Yes, yeah. June and, 18th. And I think you said uh, for, is it uh, uh, four days, five days, or a week? Is it, It's going to be priced at $79, and then it's going to go up to $99, right? Yes. So okay. until that Saturday, or excuse me, Sunday afterward, which is June 23rd, it's going to be $79, and then after that it'll be $99. And the book, um, my first book was a lot of really high-level thinking about if I'm going to start a photography business, like what do I need to know that I don't want to learn the hard way? Um, and what does taking a business mm -hmm. um, and starting one really require? Because um, people, I think before they get into it, they think it's going to be something that is actually quite different. Um, this one both includes a lot of high-level thinking, but there's a lot of written exercises that um, walk the reader through the steps and the thinking and the thought process that is required to achieve exactly what you were just describing. Um, it, you have to be able to pretend you are that ideal client and figure out, okay, what are they concerned about when they're looking for a photographer? What are they concerned about the day after they hire me? What are they concerned about two days before their shoot? What are their thoughts after the shoot is done, mm -hmm. um, so that you can start brainstorming as the reader this experience they're going to go through where you, are f you know what's going on in their mind before they even do. So if you can deliver an email or you know, deliver their prints, whatever the case may be, in such a remarkable, careful way that it aligns to that ideal customer, you can create the experience that will get you massive amounts of referrals and 
not just referrals from people, but referrals from ideal clients that are just like the one who hired you because people hang out with people who are like them most often. So then you find yourself not spending as much on marketing. You find yourself, you know, getting client inquiries from people you love working with while you sleep and all those good things. Yes. So it's a lot of work in the beginning and hopefully this book walks you through step by step all the thoughts that you need to have and, and craft to get that messaging right and to have it resonate with people. Um, but I, yeah, I believe, and I've been doing this for a long time, I believe that once you put that hard work in, in the beginning of the change or the launch of the business, whatever the case may be, it's well worth it. I got to tell you, uh, this book comes in the perfect time for me. Perfect right. time. So I'm looking forward to, to reading it and doing the worksheets and certainly moving forward, as you said. So uh, thank you so much, Angela. I appreciate thank it. You. Yeah, thank you, Seishu. Glad to be here. Wonderful. See you in a bit. All right. Bye. Bye.